and we found this little protein, and proteins come from genes, and somehow novice meditators were upregulating thousands and thousands of metabolites in their mm. blood at the end of seven days to suggest that their body literally was living in a new environment and they were in a ballroom. The right. ballroom looks like a big sound booth. Without eating anything or taking any drugs or any pharmaceuticals or any vitamins or changing their diet or any therapies, their body was making a host of different chemicals and upregulating thousands of metabolites and genes to suggest that their body was literally li living in a whole new life. Mm. When we take the plasma then of those people that have this kind of interaction with energy and frequency, and we put it in the presence of cancer cells, like a uterine cancer cell, the, 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 the mitochondrial function in the cancer cell, and the you know, cancer cells love to move and multiply, and the mitochondria are the energy packets that cause them to do that. 70% of the mitochondrial function in the cancer cell, lights were out and, and took the energy out of the cancer cell. So we expanded the study to wow. what percentage of people, if we, if we did pancreatic cancer cell, if we did breast cancer cell, whatever we did, we did one study where 84%, 84% of the people that were advanced meditators, 84% had the same effect on mitochondrial function. That's more than eight out of 10 people, that's four to five people, somehow are producing this anti-carcinogenic chemical. 